Hey there, so I finally purchased my first uh, Star Tracker uh, and that's the Skywatcher GTI. I have it for about a month now and I just want to share my first thoughts on it. I'll also give you some basic guides to get you started in case you are thinking about uh, buying one yourself. I'll go over the update that you need to do uh, if you want to use it in equatorial mode, how to do the alignment and if you're a Sky Safari app user, I will show you how to set it up uh, to use uh, one mobile device to control the SIN scan and the Sky Safari app. In the near future I will also add a telescope and uh, auto guiding, so if you are interested uh, maybe come back in a week or two and I will probably have uh, a video uploaded by then. I also put a few timestamps in the description box just in case you are interested in a specific part of the process. So first let's jump to the computer and update the mount. Uh, oh and just a heads up, for the update you will need a Wi-Fi connection uh, from a laptop or a PC uh, to the mount. Ok so first thing we need to do is to download the update, links will be down in the description. Now this is what you need to download, the firmware loader and then we also need the firmware. So let's download both of them. Then go to your downloads. And now we have to extract the files we got. And just to let you know, I had quite some problems with the update. First I didn't follow the exact sequence which is written in the manuals. And the Wi-Fi in the house also disturbed the signal. So make sure that you turn off your home Wi-Fi. Let me just close the website. Now turn on the mount. Go to your Wi-Fi settings. And here you can see since can make the connection. Now first we need to open this folder which says motor controller. Uh, here you can have a look at the instructions. Let's make this a bit smaller. Now double click on the loader. Now go to browse and find the update. So I have it under my downloads. So that, that folder here. Select the file, hit open. Hit the MC version. Now just hit the update button. Uh, okay, now our mount is uh, updated, so you can close that. Now you can turn off the mount. Now if you turn it back on, you will be able to connect in the EQ mode. So the next thing we are going to go through is the alignment process and how to point the mount correctly. Here is an image of how you should set up your mount in this configuration. Make sure it's leveled by checking the bubble level on the polar edge and it should be pointing at the northern star which is Polaris if you live in the northern hemisphere. Here is also an image where to find Polaris just in case you don't already know. Ok turn on the mount and connect to the SINSCAN Wi-Fi. And here we have a few aligning options, so 2 star alignment is usually enough, but if you want a more accurate alignment, uh, you should definitely go for the 3 star alignment. Uh, and maybe a tip, for your first star, choose one that you know very well and you recognize it as soon as you look up in the night sky. So when your mount started the alignment process, you will know if it's going in the right direction. Now select the second and the third star. And here's maybe also a tip, if you can, choose a really bright star as your last aligning target, so you can fine tune your focus on it. Ok, we got our stars selected, now just press go to and the mount will make his way to the first star.
made the corrections and hit OK. The mount will now go to the second star. Center the star again and hit OK. And one more time for the last star. So when you're done, hit OK. The mount will now properly track the night sky. And now I'll just briefly show you how to choose a target in the scene scan app. <clears throat> then I will show you how to connect the Sky Safari app. First let's go back and hit the Deep Sky icon. Hit Named. Here you have a list of visible targets, so you can scroll to find it, or just type in the name. When you know which target you want to photograph, push the Go To button, and the mount will go to your target. When it's there, make the correction and hit OK. Now for the Sky Safari app, first go to Settings, Telescope, Equipment Selection and the scope type must be Skywatcher Scene Scan. And for the mount type, select the EQ Go to German. In the Communication Settings, set the IP address to 127.0.0.1. And the port number should be 11882. Now confirm. Now we can press the connect icon. And now you can see uh, that the Sky Safari app knows where your mount is pointing. Now go ahead and look around. Pick a target and press go to. And now the mount will go to your target. I had quite a lot of fun using this mount so far and I forgot to mention when you are buying the mount you should really consider uh, getting the polar wedge too because it will make the alignment part uh, a lot easier but other than that uh, the mount works uh, really well the go to function will make uh, finding targets uh, really a piece of cake it's a great choice if you want to take your first steps uh, in some uh, deep sky astrophotography so for today that's it I hope I covered enough to get you started. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.